Hey guys, coming at y'all with a video just showing you how to refresh that old wig. Gonna make it look new again, y'all. Stay tuned. So, first, I'm gonna start by taking this wig off, just using some 91% alcohol. This wig been installed for about a week. The same products I'm using to put this new front on is the same ones that's on this one that I'm taking off now. So, you guys just watch the magic happen. And you can see how easy it came off and how it's really clean. Not that much residue left to clean off. Now I just got to take the stocking cap off and put a fresh one on. So now we got the stocking cap on. So I'm just going to cut around my ears and get ready to mold this stocking down. So now I'm just going to show you guys how to take this old frontal off and replace it with a new frontal. And just remember when you're making your own wigs, try not to sew the tracks onto the frontal. That'll make it much easier to swap that frontal out when it's time to replace it with a new one. And your wigs can last you for up to two years. You just will have to replace the frontal ever so often to keep it looking fresh and keep it looking new. just going to wet the hair down just to kind of bring back the natural curl pattern in the hair just to kind of freshen it up and I'm going to add the frontal onto this wig the frontal is an 18 inch 13 by 4 and this hair texture is deep body wave 18 inch frontal 22 24 26 inch bundles These frontals do come pre-customized, you guys, which means that bleaching is not really necessary. I did do a little tweezing to the hairline, but that was totally it. You guys don't have to bleach it unless you just prefer to bleach it again. But otherwise, it doesn't need to be bleached. Just tweezed a little bit. And I'll show you the inside of the frontal so you can see what I mean about pre-customized hairlines. And now I'm just adding it on to the wig. So now that I have the frontal added on, I just want to show you guys how it's like a perfect fit. The lace and everything is a perfect blend for my skin and my hairline. Complexion is perfect and the elastic makes it easy to slide on. Watch the magic. These are the products we're going to use. We're going to use our skin protector. We're going to use our adhesive tape strips just to give it that extra hold. And we're also going to use our super sensitive bind on top of our tape strips. So let's get started. at that blend already and the wig isn't even installed yet you guys i can't wait to install her i'm just showing you guys the inside of the frontal remember i told you it was pre-customized which means the hairline part of it is actually bleached already so there's no bleaching necessary and look how perfectly it blends in with my skin So you're always going to start off with cleaning your skin with 91% alcohol and then you're going to go in and use your skin protector as the first product. Let that dry a little. Once that dries, then you're going to go ahead and use your adhesive tape strips. I usually use five tapes along my hairline and I'm going to place them in front of my hairline and not on my hair. It's literally going to go at the tip of your stocking and on your skin. You'll see me place it in the video. I'll get a little closer for you guys to see. 
you see that's how it goes and you're going to continue this method along your hairline until you're finished placing the tape all around and make sure you get those edges good because those are always the first places to lift up on your lace So now that the tape is in place, I'm gonna go in and use my super sensitive bind. This is a daily wear adhesive for people that like to switch up their hair a lot. Maybe every three to four days, that's how I do mine. You're gonna know when this glue is in the drying process because it's going to turn clear. You don't wanna apply your lace until it turns clear and you know that it's drying, but don't let it get completely dry. And I usually go in with a little makeup on top of my tape just to make it dull so it doesn't have a shine finish and with this glue you're going to use three to four layers to make sure that it has a nice hold combined with the tape and don't forget let it dry clear before you stick your lace down and this glue is not for people who sweat a lot or have oily skin because it will reactivate on you if you sweat a lot please purchase the super bind now I'm going to lay my lace and remember Put your lace in front of your tape so that your tape is not visible under your lace. You don't want your hairline to look shiny or look white because of the tape. Look at that melt already, you guys, and the wig isn't even fully in place yet. I still have to go in and touch up those little areas where more glue is needed, and I still need to mold it in, but it looks like it's coming out of my scalp already. Now that the wig is applied and all the lace is down, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up with my Secure the Lace Head Wrap. And this is going to give it that extra molding so we can have that real life out the scalp action. These wraps are also available on my website. It'll be down in the description for you guys to purchase. Yes, body. Oh my God, I love this hair. Look how pretty and bouncy it is. And all I did was wet it down with water, you guys. Now that it's wrapped, the wrap was on for maybe about 10 minutes. I blue dry it a little and now I'm going to do a few baby hairs and then I'm going to wrap it again. I'm going to leave the wrap on for maybe about 20 minutes, do a little more blow drying and then we're going to be done.
so i pulled out my ring light so you guys can see the meltdown i want you to see how it's melted into my skin with and without the extra lighting like this lace is so late you guys you can't tell me i'm not indian right now <laughs> I'm loving just playing in this hair you guys and you can see me tugging and pulling on it it's stuck it's not going anywhere and you can also see the meltdown without the ring light it looks just as natural without the extra lighting and remember that you can always kind of play with your baby hairs you can kind of calm them back if they're you know too extra for you some people like little baby hairs as possible so i just play around to you know do whatever looks more natural to me until i come up with something that i actually like it's no certain way i do my baby hairs i'm loving this meltdown you guys oh my god Everything that I use today is available for purchase on my website, trinathedreamweaver.com. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll leave something in the description for you to get a discount on your purchase. And thank you so much for watching my videos. Stay tuned for what's coming next.